Hey guys, and welcome to Battlefield 5! The only game on the planet which appears to require a roadmap to a roadmap. Before you start wondering what I've been doing for the past couple of days, which I was away from YouTube, I was laying there behind me the whole time, <laughs> I was sick and I couldn't do anything, like... My voice was terrible, it still isn't perfect, but yeah, that's what we have to do today. Anyway, as you might have seen yesterday, and probably seen yesterday, Battlefield 5 is getting a roadmap to a roadmap. And I'm not kidding. Like, look at this post, I'm not even sure if it's gonna be here or here or here or... I don't even know how to put a video together when I have a camera and I have to show something in it, but regardless, Dan Mitri, Battlefield, or not Battlefield, but EA's community manager posted this saying, we're having a roadmap for you guys. They put up a roadmap on the website. Then we get BF Bulletin saying Battlefield 5 roadmap is here, so everyone goes to the roadmap and there is a surprise because the roadmap is an actual roadmap to a roadmap. Guys, I'm not kidding, like, Let's take a look at the article. This is literally a roadmap to a roadmap. It's not a roadmap. It's not the roadmap. It's a roadmap to a roadmap. Like, how much sense does putting out a roadmap to a roadmap make? I mean, let's go through it. September, open beta aftermath. Classes and combat roles. October, maps of Battlefield 5. Weapons and vehicles, war stories. Tides of war. Combined arms, firestorm, but like this is all prior to the launch. I mean, it's not exactly what we asked for. Let Let's take a look at the other roadmaps. Let's take a look at the roadmap of Rainbow Six. It's like, let me Google it really quickly. Rainbow Six ish roadmap. All right. All right. So here is the example of a roadmap, which is an actual roadmap of Rainbow Six ish. Let's take a look at it. Year 3 Roadmap In Year 3, the Rainbow Six team will be joined by the 8 new operators from Russia, France, Italy, UK, USA and Morocco. Now, that's already telling us what new content players will actually get to see within the game during the next year. Now, what's better? They have it divided into different seasons. Then 1. Operate Operation Chimera Two new operators plus Outbreak event. Then we have Parabellum, two new operators and a new map. Now, not gonna go through all of this because it's boring, we're not Rainbow Six-ish players here, at least not mainly, but this kind of gives you an idea of what a roadmap actually is. Now, let's take a look at PUBG roadmap, the most broken game on the planet, but still, I think they have a roadmap, so let's go. PUBG Roadmap 2018 Alright, it's gonna be quite old, because it was posted back in March, but still, it's a solid roadmap. You get to see the new map they're working on, the new gameplay improvements. You also get to see what else is here. Stability, optimization, security, sound improvements, esports, custom games, community developer support. Like. Where is this in the Battlefield article? So, let's go back and take a look at Battlefield's article. We get a roadmap to a roadmap, which basically explains a road to Battlefield 5 prior to launch. So, we have an article explaining that we will have different articles talking about stuff that's before the game comes out. I'm not saying it's bad. But all I'm saying is that we, as players, asked for an actual roadmap of the live service called Tides of War. We didn't ask them for a description of what they're gonna be talking in the next couple of weeks before the game gets released. Currently, the whole situation looks like this. Hey guys, can we get some details about Tides of War and what content will we get to see? Yeah, sure, here is a rundown of the whole content we will be talking about before Battlefield 5 comes out. How about that? No, but we, we really want to know what content will we get to play in Tides of War. We just gave you a rundown of the content we will talk about before the game comes out. It's like... 
We're saying one thing as the community, EA is responding with something completely opposite, and we're just sitting here wondering what the f*** is actually going on with this game. Seriously though, I don't intend to attack, offend or disrespect anyone who's been involved in writing the article and planning the whole thing. I don't even know who wrote it, probably the social media team at DICE, but... The whole point is that they're doing things which are completely something different than what we would expect from them and what we actually want to see. Like, here is the essence of the whole situation. We want one article showing us a roadmap for Battlefield 5. That's all we want. We want to see what content will we get to play when Tides of War starts. The live service for Battlefield 5. That's all we want. We don't need them to explain every single thing in details. All we want is the alright. So in this month you're getting maps based on this front featuring those factions. Then two or three months later you get another map pack with those factions, new weapons and those fronts and battles from World War II. That's literally or we, oh, fuck me my Polish accent. That's literally all we want to see from dice. That's it. Anyway guys, that would be it for this video. I really hope that everyone got the part that the whole thing was a bit sarcastic and was supposed to be sarcastic. It was not supposed to be a serious news reporting video as it usually is because there's actually no news to report on, so I was like, alright, let's make something goofy, because why not? I mean, what else can I produce at this point? Battlefield is dead. As always, guys, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I see you on the battlefield. See ya!